Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to compare my backhand topspin technique with the backhand topspin technique of England number one, Liam Pitchford. Liam has one of the best backhand topspin techniques in the world. So how does Liam produce such a world-class shot? To work it out, we're going to do some slow motion analysis. And at the end of the video, I use my best long, fast side spin serves to test out how good Liam's backhand really is. Will he be able to return my serve? Hmm, I wonder. You'll have to watch till the end of the video to find out. This video is sponsored by Brybar Table Tennis. At Brybar, you can buy the new Victus V22 Double Extra Rubber. This rubber is seriously fast and spinny and will take your attacking game to the next level. To find out more, go to brybartt.co.uk. So, here's my technique. I'm playing backhand top spins and Liam is just blocking the ball back. Um, it's okay, not that spinny, I don't think. Fairly average, but look, it's on the table. Now, let's switch places. Now I'm the one blocking, and Liam is the one doing his backhand topspin uh, attacks. And as you can see, this ball is going a lot faster. I'm having to take a couple of steps back from the table to be able to block the ball back. But this is all happening so fast, it's really difficult to see exactly how Liam is producing such a fast shot. So let's have a look at our shots in slow motion. The first key difference we're going to look at is how we use our wrist. If we look at my backhand top spin to begin with, and you can see, well, there's limited wrist movement. There is a little bit of wrist in this, but not too much. By comparison, Liam uses his wrist much more. He has a much bigger preparation phase. His wrist is coming back much more than mine. Um, and that means Liam is able to whip his wrist out much more. Now, I think we can see this better from the, from the side on view. And pause it just there. Just look at the difference. Liam has come back much more than I have. But there is another key difference here, and this is the timing of when the wrist whips out. If you look at me to begin with, you can see that my wrist comes out quite early. Now what this means is, is that by the time I approach the ball, I'm, I'm actually losing some acceleration, um, and that's why my shot doesn't go so fast. If we look at Liam by comparison, he really delays when his wrist whips out. It's like he brings his forearm towards the ball, then just at the last moment, his wrist then whips out. And what this means is that Liam is able to generate a lot more acceleration. His bat is moving really fast as he contacts the ball, and that allows him to hit the ball with much more speed and spin. Another key difference here is our stance and how we use our legs. If we look at it here, we can already see that I am more upright than Liam. Let's just watch my footage and there's an interesting thing what happens. I start quite tall. As the ball approaches me, I then go down, I then hit the ball and then stand up afterwards. So it's almost like I'm hitting the ball as I'm going down. So therefore I'm not using my body in the best possible way. With Liam, it's completely different. He starts from a much lower base. And as the ball approaches and Liam makes contact with the ball, he has a slight movement upwards. So therefore he's using his legs um, to help generate that little bit of extra energy into his shot. And a third key difference here is that Liam's whole movement is just much more fluid. The way that his arm bends back and the wrist unfolds, the way he has a slight uh, turn with his hips, 
that slight movement upwards, there's a much more flowing motion, which again helps Liam to play a far more relaxed and a faster backhand topspin attack. So there are some of the key differences. Liam is lower, he uses his legs in a more efficient way, his whole body movement is more fluid, but the key, key difference is how we're using our wrists. I use less wrists and it goes earlier. Liam uses much more wrist. He brings his forearm to the ball, then whips out his shot. And that's how he's able to produce a much faster and spinnier backhand topspin. And finally, how will Liam get on returning my long, fast side spin serves? At my level, at the amateur level, do you know what? This serve causes all kinds of problems. I get a lot of weak returns and misses. Would I cause Liam any problems? Um, no, quite the opposite. Liam punished my serve as if it was nothing. And not only was it easy for him, his shot quality was so good, I couldn't get anywhere near it. Um, it really is a world-class backhand attack. He gets it very deep into the corners, into my crossover position, um, and it's just so hard to return. Now, I did manage to catch him out a couple of times. Hooray! So I can say that my serve is so good, even a pro player can't return it. But that wouldn't quite be telling the truth. He punished me again the next few times. <laughs> it's such a good shot. <laughs> Counter-attack, why do you block it for? <laughs> thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Liam for showing off his absolutely brilliant backhand topspin attack. Also, thank you to Breibar Table Tennis and Victus for making this video series happen. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel or take a look at one of these other videos. I will have more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.